Amber, it's almost time for you to go to school. Have you prepared your books yet? Yeah, I have finished preparing. Tomorrow is your birthday. Do you want any birthday present? I want a big cake and a teddy bear. If your test score is good, I will buy it for you. Really? So I will do well on my test. The bus has come to pick you up. Hurry up! You're going to be late. I am really looking forward to tomorrow. Bye, mom. Bye, dad. I'm going. The next day, I went to the supermarket to buy things to make dinner. Today, I was specially asked to leave early. Perhaps Linda is preparing to decorate the house. Amber will be very happy. She had been looking forward to this day. Okay, I have to go in and prepare. Honey, I'm home. Nope. What? What are you doing? Who is this man? Garrick, why are you here now? It's not your time to leave work yet. If I hadn't come back early, I probably wouldn't have known about this. What is this? I ask you again. Who is this man? Is this your husband? He looks so incompetent. Why would you marry someone like him? You guys should divorce soon. What? What did you just say? I say you should divorce her soon. She deserves someone better. Shut your mouth! You're the one who should get the hell out of here. Oh my God, Garrick! What are you doing? Why did you hit him? Are you crazy? Do you dare to hit me? Today I will definitely teach you a lesson. I don't intend to ignore you either. Stop! That's enough. Please go outside and wait for me. I have something to tell him. But why? Listen to me. I'll be out soon. Ugh. Fine. Garrick, let's talk. What do you want to explain? Everything is as you see. I admit, I like someone else. So let's get a divorce. Don't you feel sorry for me when you do that? What did I do wrong to be treated like that? Can you calm down? How can I calm down? Do you know what day it is today? Today is Amber's birthday, your daughter's birthday. Yet you had an affair on her birthday. If I don't find out today, how long are you planning to hide it? Then just pretend you don't know about this. What? Do you know what you're talking about? I'm so tired of your ramblings. That's exactly why I chose to leave. I want a richer life. Do you know how much money that man out there gave me? Do you think your small salary can support this family? I'm so tired of this situation. Let's get divorced. What about Amber? Don't you think about her feelings? I don't care. I don't need her anymore. If we divorce, she will live with you. I don't have time to take care of her. Mom, Dad, I'm home. Are you crazy? How could you say such things to her? Mom, Dad, what happened? Why are you two arguing? Why does Dad beat Mom like that? You dare to hit me? You couldn't do anything but hit me. Today I must leave this house. I don't want to live here another minute. Amber, from now on, I won't live here anymore. Please forget me. Mom, please don't go. Today is my birthday. Mom, don't go. I promise, from now on, I will be good and listen to you. Get out of me! Don't waste my time. Amber, you still have me. From now on, I will take care of you. We will live happily together. We both decided to divorce. No, please don't. Goodbye, my daughter. Dad, why don't you hold my mother back? Why did she leave like that? Does she not need me anymore? Amber, don't cry anymore. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. Because you hit her, she left. It's all your fault. It's my fault. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Amber loves her mother very much, so she won't be able to accept the fact that her mother is having an affair. I also don't want her to know about that truth. Maybe I'll tell her the truth when she grows up. Five years later. Ops, did I bump into you? Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. It's you again, Emma. This is the third time this week you've bumped into me. It seems like your eyes are not good. It's because you're so faint that we can't see you. Or next time, try wearing clown clothes. Who knows? Maybe we'll see it again. Ha ha! That would definitely be funny. What's up? Haven't you stood up yet? Do you need me to give you a hand? 
No thanks. You are truly a strong girl. Not having a mother makes you really independent. What did you just say? Oh, I said you don't have a mother. Am I wrong? Your mother abandoned you and ran away with another man. Shut up. You have no right to talk about my mother like that. My mother would never do that. Only a fool like you wouldn't believe that. But everyone in our school knows it. Please stop talking. She looks like she's about to cry. It's almost time to go to class. Let's go. Just ignore her. Ha ha. Goodbye, loser. Why would they say such things to me? Amber, how was school today? Are you happy going to school? Same as always. What's up? Why do you suddenly ask me like that? Actually, I want you to meet someone. Who? Babe, come here. Amber, this is Sybil. I and she have been dating for half a year now. From today on, she will come here to live with us. Hello, little girl. Nice to meet you. What? I know this is a bit sudden for you. But I hope we can live together happily. Dad, I don't need her. So please take her away. What are you talking about? I don't want a stepmother. I only have one mother. I don't need anyone to replace her. Amber, do you know what you're talking about? If you like her, just keep her. I will never accept her. Amber, stop. I'm not done talking to you yet. What's wrong with her? I have never seen her harsh attitude like that. Calm down. It just seemed like she was in shock. Give her time to think. I think she will change her mind. The next day. Amber, is it time for you to go to school? Please sit here and have breakfast. I made you a sandwich. I won't eat it. You can eat it yourself. Amber. Don't say that. If you don't eat breakfast, it will be very harmful to your health. Don't try to be nice or considerate of me. No matter what you do, I won't accept you. It's time for me to go to school. Don't bother me anymore. Heights, it seems like she doesn't like me. Don't be sad. I will talk to her tonight. You are a kind and sincere woman. I'm sure she will love you. <laughs> Thank you, honey. That night. Amber, I heard you just got back from your part-time job. Have you worked part-time to make money? You are such a good girl. I think you haven't had dinner yet. So I cooked spaghetti for you. Please bring it to your room to eat. I told Sybil you really like spaghetti. So she went to the supermarket to buy things to make for you. Thank you. But I'm not hungry so I don't want to eat. Don't fast. It's not good for your health. Can you just eat a little? I said I didn't need it. Why do you keep bothering me? Oh my god, Garrick. What are you doing? Please don't hit her. Amber, what's with that attitude of yours? Have I pampered you too much? You hit me? You hit me like the way you used to hit my mother. It's all because of you that my mother left. When you brought her home, did you ask my thoughts? I told you I didn't want anyone to replace my mother and I won't eat anything she cooks. Okay. If so, don't eat anything from now on. You are grounded. Don't leave your room until tomorrow. Fine. She must be very angry with us. Are you still not going to tell her the truth? Now is not the right time yet. Let's just wait a little longer. The next day. Ugh, I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Dad seems very angry with me, but I don't want to apologize to him. Maybe I'll find something to eat after my lunch break. Hello, Amber. We're here to play with you. Is it you guys again? Can you change to another place to play? This is my workplace. I don't have time to entertain you. What are you talking about? We are your customers. Does your boss know you're sending customers away like this? Ugh, fine. What drinks do you guys want to order? Um, let me see. I want an Americano. What do you want to order? I want orange juice. And I want to eat snacks. Okay, your drinks will be served immediately. 30 minutes later.
Can you guys dispose of trash according to regulations? I've cleaned your place many times already. I'm creating a job for you. Didn't you come here to serve? Then this trash cleaning job is your job. You. Oh, did you just scream at us? Why do some staff have such a bad service attitude? Where is your boss? I want to talk to him. Can you guys stop bothering me? I'm so tired already. It's because of you that I haven't had a lunch break yet. It's none of my business. We already paid to order drinks. Your duty is to serve us. Amber, it's your lunch break, right? I brought you some lunch. Why? Why are you here? How do you know I work here? Your father told me that. You hadn't eaten anything all day yesterday, so I brought you food. Don't worry about your dad either. I'll go back and advise him. He won't be angry with you anymore. Hello, miss, you and Amber know each other. Hi there, I'm her mum. Are you her friends? Yeah, we're good friends. Amber, why didn't you tell me you had a new mother? How long are you going to keep it a secret from us? I, I... The atmosphere between them was strange. I don't think they're friends with Amber. She looked uncomfortable around them. Okay, I'm going home. Let's talk about something later. Bye. Wow, Amber, your stepmother is so nice. Aren't you going to call her, Mom? Your father has a new wife. When will the two of them get married? You should definitely invite us there. So sad, from now on. I won't be able to call you motherless anymore. Congratulations on having a new mother. Ha ha ha. In Amber's house. Are you back? Tonight our family will go out for dinner. Do you want to eat anything? What did you mean by your actions just now? Why do you tell others you are my mother? I have never accepted you. I'm sorry. Does that make you uncomfortable? Yeah, it makes me extremely angry. Now everyone knows I have a stepmother. Do you feel happy? I didn't mean to do it. Can you give me a chance? I'm sure I'll treat you well. I don't need your pity. You better get out of this house. Your presence makes me nauseous. From now on, don't bother me anymore. Don't show up at my workplace anymore. I will never consider you my mother. Oh God, I made her angry. Maybe she will never forgive me. What should I do now? One day. Can you guys guess what's new today? What's new? New clothes? Wrong, guess again. So you just got your hair done? I got my hair done last week. So, new shoes? New lipstick color? Girls often ask questions like this. You idiots. Bag. I have a new bag. Ugh, they are so annoying. Why do they have to come here every day? Don't they have somewhere else to go? Today I don't want to cause trouble with them at all. The best way is to stay away from them. Excuse me, is my coffee ready yet? Oh, your drinks are being served inside. Yeah, I'll bring it to you right now. Oh my god, my new bag. You, you idiot, did you do it on purpose? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. Do you know how much it costs? I will pay it back to you. Girl, didn't you look at the brand of the bag? Are you sure you have money to pay for it? I, I don't know. She uses a Dior bag. Not less than $2,000 for one. What? Are you kidding me? How can a single bag be so expensive? How can a rustic like you understand? My bag is a Dior saddle bag. And it costs $3,600. How are you going to pay me? I, I don't have that much money. So how do you plan to repay me? Don't you want to deny responsibility? If you don't have money, tell your parents to pay me. What should I do now? I don't have enough money to pay her. But I also don't want to let dad and that woman help. I don't have enough money to pay you. So I'll do whatever you want. Oh, my God. Amber, do you know what you're saying? I will also work part-time and pay you. What do you think about that idea? This is not a bad idea. 
So we get a free errand girl? I already feel very excited about this. We'll have lots of fun to do with her. Fine, then I will give you a chance. Remember that it was you who made this suggestion. So don't regret your decision. My bag is so expensive. So you will have to work for a long time. A few days later. Your food has arrived. Joey's hamburger, Isaac's pasta and Emma's salad. Do you guys need anything else? Good, you did very well. It's great that we get a free lunch. Thank you for buying food for us. That's right, today there is homework. Remember, you have to do everything for us. But today I have to go to work part time. I won't be able to make it in time. Can I do it for you tomorrow? I don't care. My homework must be completed tomorrow. That reminds me, you got paid today. Don't forget to give me money. You still owe me a lot. Can I keep some? I need to buy school supplies. Of course not. You have to give it all to me. If not, I will tell your stepmother about this. Okay, I know. Amber, quickly, clean this place up. Otherwise your boss will curse you. Ha <laughs> ha, in the past, she even complained to us. About throwing trash around. Now she must obediently do as we say. Such a stupid girl. We have many ways to tease her. Let me see how long she can endure. Can you think of any good ideas? I find sitting like this very boring. Yeah, I have an idea. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fun. Do it quickly. I can't wait any longer. Amber, come here. What do you guys want me to do? Oh my god, are you crazy? What are you doing? We're just so bored. Have you guys filmed that scene yet? Yeah, this is so funny. Amber, your expression looks really unique. Posting this online will get a lot of views. No, please delete it quickly. Hey, remember, you are working for us. I can do anything with you that I want. But that doesn't mean you can bully me. If you want to end this, then pay me quickly. You still owe me $3,000. Or let me meet your stepmother and ask for that money. I will return it to you. So don't mention her anymore. Haha, <laughs> you really are pathetic. You will never be able to pay off that debt. We still have a lot of work to do with you. Just wait and see. That night. Amber, are you back already? Lately I've noticed you look tired and come home later. What happened? Nothing, I'm fine. If you need any help, please tell me. I'm very ready to help you. I don't need your help at all. I'm tired, I'll go to my room first. Don't bother me. Okay, so please go rest. I wonder what happened to her. Lately her attitude seems strange. Her father has gone on a business trip, so no one can help me talk to her. I have to find a way myself. The next day. What's going right? Why do I feel like everyone is talking about something about me? Did something happen that I don't know about? Is that Amber? That's right. Have you seen her videos? I saw it. She looks so pathetic. I heard she owes Emma money. What? Really? Yeah. So she is their errand girl. Haha, <laughs> she deserves it. They are talking something about me. What happened in the end? Why do people look at me like that? Hi girl, you look even prettier than in the video. Do you have free time today? Do you want to have some fun with me? Who are you? What are you talking about? Do I know you? Don't worry about it. I hired you from Emma. I paid a lot of money to meet you. I don't understand what you're saying. Let me alone. If not, I will tell the teacher. Ugh, you are so annoying. I have to go to Emma to get my money back. Here you are, Amber. You are very famous right now. What have you done to me? I just posted the clip of you being doused with water yesterday. Yet it became viral. A lot of guys have contacted us to go on a date with you. We have earned a lot of money from you. Are you guys crazy? How could you guys do that to me? Aren't I helping you pay off your debt? If not, when do you think you will pay off all your debt? I see there are a lot of guys who like you. 
Turn yourself into a gold digger. Who knows, maybe they'll give you money. Just like your mother ran away from home with a richer man. Don't mention my mother. What are you doing to me? I've been putting up with you for a long time. Now let's solve all the problems between us. How dare you hit me? Your life is over. Oh god, someone call the teacher. These two girls are out of their minds. In the teacher's office. All her parents here now. How could she beat my daughter to this extent? Today I will definitely make her pay for her actions. I hope you calm down. There must be some misunderstanding between the two of them. Can you tell me the reason first? I didn't do anything wrong. She hit me first. She owes me money and wants to beat me. Mom, today I want her to be punished. Okay, I definitely won't let her go. Where are her parents? Why haven't they come yet? I contacted her father, but he's currently on a business trip so he can't come. As for her mother. She doesn't have a mother. Her mother abandoned her and ran off with another man. Shut up. I didn't beat you enough just now, didn't I? See, have you seen her attitude? She doesn't even regret her actions. I want her expelled. What? Indeed, her parents don't know how to raise her. Are you saying someone doesn't know how to raise children? What have you done to my daughter? Sybil, what are you doing here? Don't worry, sweetheart. Let me help you. <laughs> So, what do you guys want to say to me? Your daughter hit my daughter. You must compensate us for the damage. How much do you want? One hundred thousand dollars. What? Are you crazy? My daughter is so beautiful, yet you beat her. If something happened to her, can you pay for it? But that number is absurd. Don't forget you still owe me three thousand dollars for the bag. You. Before that, I want to know a few things. Did you ask her permission to post a video of Amber online? You even take advantage of that to make money. Do you know that it is illegal? How did you know that? Also, about the bag that Amber has to pay you. How can a student like you buy a bag worth $3,600? Is that bag real or fake? Do you have the bill to buy the bag? I, I. Emma, why do you have such a valuable bag? Don't tell me you're showing off that fake Dior bag everywhere. Dad. What? A fake bag? Are you fooling me? Even so, you have no right to hit her. Teacher, I want to expel her. I see there are still many problems in this matter. Emma seems to have been bullying and tricking Amber for a while now. And Amber was also wrong for hitting Emma. I think the two sides should make peace with each other. If she wants to expel my daughter, I will sue her. What? what? Do you know who I am? I am the director of Roblox. What can an anonymous person like you do to me? Oh really? Let me see. What? Why is my boss calling at this time? Hello boss. Do you need anything from me? Looks like you still don't recognize me. I just haven't been to the company for a while. But you don't know what my face looks like. From tomorrow you don't need to go to work anymore. You're fired. Boss, I I. I don't want to hear you explain anything. Both you and your daughter should get out of here. If my daughter has any problems, your family will be sued. And your daughter will be expelled from school. Oh my god, I'm sorry, really sorry. It's all my fault. I didn't raise my daughter well. Emma, apologize to Amber. No way, I won't do that. Don't make me repeat it a second time. But, I, I'm sorry for what I did to you. I deeply regret my actions. Please forgive me this time. I will think about this. But at least you apologized, so I'll let it go. Sybil. Can we talk somewhere else? I have something to tell you. Sure, baby. Thank you for helping me today. That's what I should do. But from now on, don't hide anything from me anymore. If I didn't find out, how long would you continue to be bullied? Why do I treat you so badly? 
but you're still so good to me. Even my mother doesn't need me. So why do you always love me so much? I'm sorry for what I did. Oh, don't cry. You didn't do anything wrong, I understand. Let's live happily together from now on. Can I call you mom? Of course you can. Thank you, mom, for always being by my side. The end. A random day in the Roblox world. Huh? What is this? I can have a random defender with just 50 Robux, huh? This is worth trying. Stephen Chow, the landlord, the landlady, Clark Kent, Bruce Wayne, Tony Stark, crafty expert. Wow, I can see some famous names. Stephen Chow and Bruce Wayne are my idol. Congratulations, your defender is crafty expert. Oh, okay. Crafty expert is my idol too. But where is he? Did I just waste 50 Robux for nothing? Forget it. I'm going to join my group chat. Maybe they can help. Hello. I am your private defender. My name is Crafty Expert. How? Where is the one under my protection? In Gracha's group chat. That's all that happened. How hilarious and ridiculous was that? Lol. Yeah, I couldn't stop laughing because of that. No one couldn't, bro. Hello, everyone. What were you guys talking about? How are you all doing? Hi, Gracha. We were talking about the game we played yesterday. That was both passionate and amusing. Yeah, that's right. That game involves deciphering the maze and deactivating the traps to survive. Oh god, that was rude, girl. You jumped out of nowhere and interrupted my words, Gracha. At least wait until I finish talking. Sorry, Tracy. I didn't mean to. Whatever. Tracy, that's enough. You didn't have to do that to her, you know? Hey, are you defending her? Okay, all right, my friends. We shouldn't make a tiny problem into something serious. Fine, fine, boys. Excuse me, everyone. I want to ask you all something about defenders. Did you all get your own private defenders? I have no idea about what you're speaking, Gracha. That sounds interesting, but I haven't heard of that before. We need an explanation, girl. It seems like they had no idea about it. And I don't even know how to start. Oh, forget it. How annoying you are. Come on, friends. Let's play some games, shall we? Good idea. I want to play DOH in Brookhaven. Can we play one of those games? No one asked for your opinion, girl. We don't like those games. Kai, Steven, come with me. We will play zombie stories together. But what about Gracha? We can't leave her here. Who cares about here anyway? Now what? Would you come or not? Fine. Fine. Don't worry, Gracha. We'll be back soon. Yeah, we'll be back. Okay, boys. Thank you for caring about me. Hayes, I'm all by myself now. I'll join Brookhaven to find some new friends. Hello, I am your defender. Oh, great. It looks like I'm a step behind again. The one I need to defend is not here. It's time to go. In Brookhaven. Hello, girl. How are you? Can we play this game together? Are you kidding me? I'm not going to play games with a random bacon player. Our levels are not the same. Sorry for bothering you. We were all bacon players from the beginning of the game. Hey, are you lecturing me? Do you want me to hack you? Get out of here. But suddenly... Huh? What is happening to me? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. No. What just happened? What the? Hey! What did you do to me? All of my Robux are all gone. And now I am a bacon player. It serves her right, lol. Hey! Answer me. I didn't do anything. What happened? This is all that happened seconds ago. Huh? What's happening? I can't move my avatar to see things around. Well, being a bully is forbidden in the game. Roblox is for everyone, so treat other players fairly and kindly. Hey, who on earth are you? I'm the one who's going to teach you a lesson. Oh no, I was turned into a bacon. That's not all. Your Robux are all gone now. What did you do to me? Guess it. I'm sending you back. Ciao. Back to present. That guy was your ally, right? 
Give me back my Robux and bring me back to normal. Sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Stop pretending to be dumb. Otherwise, I'll ask my brother to deal with you. This isn't over. She's crazy. Hold on a sec. That's it. I think I understood. The crafty expert did that to protect me. That's her brother. She stole all of my Robux from me. Oh great. The arrogant and rude player is back. And this time, double trouble. Hey, have care you speak. Brother, deal with her. Okay. I can do that with just a snap of my finger. Huh? What? Stop wasting your time, boy. I have nothing for you to hack. That's right, sis. She has nothing for us to hack. She is just a poor and bad-looking bacon player. Fine, I'll leave. No, you can leave yet. Give me back what you stole from me. Come on. Olivia, she has nothing for us to make fun of. And you, what are you waiting for? Get the hell out of this game, ha ha ha. There is no place for bacon players like you in the game. Hey brother, what do you mean by that? I am a bacon player too. But what happened to Olivia happened to her brother as well. What the? What's happening to me? You gotta be kidding me. You are a bacon player now, lol. Shut up. How dare you mock me? I'll destroy you. Player 036, I'm warning you and your sister. You both should stop being mean. Otherwise, things can get worse. Huh? Uh, what was that? What was that? Uh, I understood anyway. Bye bye, both of you. I'm out of here. Enough craziness for now. She's gone. Hey, come back here and give us back what you took from us. You cast her away, didn't you remember? Shut up. You stupid sister. I'll deal with you right now. What? If you want to deal with your sister, use this pranky bomb. Thank you. Ciao. What the? A bomb? Take this bomb. No, it's yours. Oh, oh great. great. Player 036 and player, player 083, your avatars will be restored in one more day. Back to Gracha. Thank you, crafty expert. Can you please show up so I can say thank you? Oh, what the? Who are you? Ha ha, calm down. I'm sorry, girl. I am the crafty expert, your private defender. Oh, is that so? Are you going to prank me too? Nope, I'm not. I'm here to hear you say thank me. Oh, right. Thank you for defending me. You're welcome. Besides, you should check your letterbox. It seems like a random boy is going crazy because of you. That's enough for now. Ciao. Let's check the messages. Oh, those texts are from Steven. Gracha, please text me back. I need to tell you something, girl. And he is online. Hello, boy. I'm here. What do you want to tell me? I want to say sorry for leaving you alone, but that was my only choice. Tracy would kick you out of the group chat if we didn't join her. Besides, Kai said sorry to you too. And he asked me to send you some Robux as his apology. Thank you, Steven. Besides, there is one more thing that I need to tell you, but I don't know how to say it. Oh no, I like her, but how can I say it? Hey boy, are you okay? Hello, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here, but forget it. I'll tell you tomorrow. I'm sweating. That was weird. Is he really okay? The following morning. Listen up, everyone. I'm going to add my nephew and my niece to this group. What? I don't think adding children to our group is a good idea. Besides, did you ask for our opinion? You are not the owner of this place, you know? Whatever. Are you guys not boys? Why are you arguing with me? I am a girl. Everything you said relates nothing to each other at all. That sounds like gender inequality. Zip it, Gracha. I didn't ask for your opinion. Hey, stop being rude to her. Yeah. You are so toxic. What? That was the second time Steven defended that bacon girl Gracha. She's stealing my crush from me. Fine. I'm sorry. I'll ask for your opinion next time. All of you okay? And don't worry. They are only two years younger than us. And they are all good players in Roblox. Okay. Olivia, Mackie, say hello to them. Hello, hello everyone. everyone. Oh, oh, what the? the that, that hacker, hacker again. again. Hey, why are you here? 
Wait a minute. What do you mean? What did she do to you? She hacked us and turned us into bacons. Not to mention that she stole all of our Robux. That doesn't make any sense. Gracha knows nothing about hacking Roblox players. And she has no friends who can do that. Besides, if she has Robux, she's already changed her avatar. I totally agree with that, bro. You are blaming the wrong person. And the both of you, don't talk to older people like that. Gracha, say something about this. I have nothing to say. That boy even proclaimed himself as a hacker. Then how could I do anything to him? Where is your friend? Yeah, where is the crafty expert? The, the, crafty, the crafty expert? expert? What are you babbling about? I don't know. But that guy made us into this. Gracha, you and he better return each of us one million Robux. Otherwise, we'll report you to the game master. Okay, enough. Let me say this. Although this is not our responsibility, Kai and I will give each of you 10,000 Robux. Leave Gracha alone. Is that okay? No. We want more. That's right. Give us more. Okay. You'll have nothing. You are so greedy. What? what? Are you kidding are us? Are you kidding us? Gracha, I need us both to talk in private. Okay. Hey, don't bully her. Don't worry, Steven. I won't do that. Excuse me, boys. In private chat. What do you want to say? Stay away from Steven. He's mine. Really? But he didn't declare anything about that. So you have no right to tell me to stay away from him. Actually, I have the right to do that. You are such a bad-looking rodent. Sorry, but I'm not a mirror. So don't talk to me like that. What? How dare you mock me? I'm kicking you out of the group chat. Huh? Why can't I do that? What is happening to my avatar? Oh no. Hoo hoo hoo. I am a rodent now. It serves you right, lol. Thank you one more time, crafty expert. I'll tell everyone about this. Back to the group chat one last time. Gracha is a hacker. She turned my avatar into a hamster. See? See? We told you. We told you. Kai, Steven, do something. Or at least say something. Can't you see what she and her friend did to me? Why are you to so silent? What can we do or say? It was you who brought those problems to yourself. What? How could you all speak to me like that? Gracha is indeed a trickster. We will report you to the game master. That's right. We should do that. Whoa! Whoa. 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 My god, not again. Who, who is, is this, this man? man? I am the crafty expert. My duty is to protect Gracha and erase all toxic players from this game. And I am the one behind all of their punishment. The Game Master allows me to do whatever I want on my duty. So don't try to report me. That's enough. We don't want any more trouble with this expert trickster. We're leaving. Hey, hold on. Aren't you going to take the Robux? Nope. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Jesus, I have no idea about what just happened. That was the consequence of being toxic and rude to other players. And you know what? I'm not just a game character. I am a person in real life. And I know the address of all players in this game. I'm sure that you don't want me to prank you in real life, right? Gracha, Steven. I need to tell you all something. I think we should leave this place. Tracy brought us too much trouble. Good, Good idea. idea. Kai, why would you say that? Yet she still told me to stay away from Steven because he was hers. What a girl who enjoys playing a double game. Don't slander me. Actually, I can be the witness. Alright, we can stop talking now. The words of the crafty expert and Gracha's words are more believable. Yeah, we can trust them. What? Are you kidding me? Can you please ban Tracy from the game? With a snap of my finger. No, no, no. Ciao. <laughs> Good, Good riddance. riddance. What a troublemaker she was. Thank you, crafty expert. But hey, do you have a name? Me? You can call me Avery Jill. What a funny name. Lol. Yeah, I know. But hey, Kai, you and I should leave this group chat for a while. What? Why? Steven has something to tell Gracho. Haha, <laughs> okay. Hey, why would you say that? Okay, okay. I'll be brave. Steven, are you okay? I'm not okay. I love you, Gracha. 
I have had a crush on you for a long time. I said it straight to the point anyway. I hope you won't hate me, Gracha. No, how can I hate you? The truth is I like you too. You always protected me whenever Tracy bullied me. Thank you for telling me. Let's have a date tomorrow. I'll buy you a cinema ticket, boy. Am I dreaming? Thank you. Ha ha ha. You are so cute. And 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 Meanwhile, the crafty expert and Kai. Hey. Do you want to know my secret? Huh? What do you mean? What secret? The secret about my identity, but you have to promise not to tell anyone. I promise, of course. I don't want to be hacked in the game. Maybe even worse, you would prank me in real life. Ha ha ha. All right. Actually, I am a girl. What? Really? Yad. And this is my photo. Wow, what a pretty girl. Is this real? And by the way, this is me. You are quite handsome, you know. Do you want us to have a video call? I want to let you see my face and hear my voice. I do, of course, let's do it. Wow, you are so cute. Thank you, Kai. You are handsome too. Well, but I think I have no chance. What chance? A chance to become your boyfriend. You are so pretty. I'm sure that you are in a relationship already. Nope, I'm still single. Really? Aren't you joking? No, boy. Then let's love. Okay, it's not a bad idea. Thank you, Avery. The end.